Good morning and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here this morning with Fred and Jethro. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Jethro's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we give him while we're working with him, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and let go on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Jethro has been fitted with his own personal training collar, and we'll show you the proper way to use this during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. As you can see, Jethro is sitting very nicely on Fred's left, which is where all our obedience training is done. The first exercise we're going to demonstrate for you today is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash. Fred and Jethro are taking off doing that now. The command is Jethro heal. We've also incorporated into this an automatic sit. Whenever Fred stops his feet, Jethro will sit and wait for another command. Here's a sit. It's important during healing that Jethro does not pull ahead of you or lag behind. He should remain nicely on your left hand side. It's another automatic sit there. The next exercise we're going to be demonstrating for you is a stay command. The stay is a hand and voice command. Fred is going to use the open flat of his left palm about an inch or so from his muzzle and the one word command to stay. Stay. He then walks out to the end of the training leash. This is a good stay. exercise. Oh, he broke the command. Stay. This is a good exercise to practice at home starting from about a minute and working your way up to three minutes. When Fred returns back to Jethro, he'll walk all the way around Jethro and back into heel position. Jethro should remain seated nicely until given another command. We're going to run through the heel sit and stay for you one more time. Stay. Fred puts him in a sit stay, out to the end of the training leash. This time, instead of returning back to Jethro, he'll demonstrate the recall or the come command. Calls him in using a nice voice. Jethro should come in and sit nicely in front of Fred. And then we have an exercise called the finish, where Jethro heels around the back of Fred and right back into heel position, seated, seated nicely on his left hand side. Demonstrate it again. Give him a stay. Now to the end of the leash. Call him in using his name. He sits, and now he'll do the finish by healing around the back of Fred, and sit nicely right back in heel position. Good job. You should practice all of your commands about 15 to 20 minutes a day, just to keep them fresh in Jethro's head. Now we're going to demonstrate our down commands. The first one is down from a heel position. Fred is going to use the open flat of his palm straight down towards the ground and the one word firm command to down. He then puts him in a stay and walks out to the end of the training leash. This is a good one to practice at home. You can start at about three minutes and work your way up to about five. Practice it inside or outside. When Fred returns back to Jethro, he'll walk all the way around him as he did on the sit stay and Jethro should remain in the down position until given another command. And they're off healing. I'll demonstrate the down again. him in the down, out to the end of the leash. This time he'll use the recall command to call Jethro back into him. Jethro sits nicely in front and then he'll do the finish around Fred, back into heel position. Day. 
This time we're going to demonstrate the down from a distance. This is the only time you use your right hand to give the command. Fred will leave him in a sit stay, go out to the end of the leash, and then he'll drop him into a down from the end of the training leash. Down. Excellent job. And then he'll return back to him, walking all the way around and back into heel position. We've demonstrated for you the obedience commands that Jethro has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Jethro, and thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.